you want to make sure that the top edges of your facing line up at the zipper. It's quite easy for one side to be higher than the other, and if it is, you need to go back and um, make sure you're stitching the facing on where they're meeting at the zipper. Okay, so you are going to skip 14 unless you want to add a hook and eye to the inside. Um, and then optional carriers, if you want belt loops on your skirt, you can add that, but otherwise you can just skip that and skip down to number 19, which is the hem. So step 19, it says, turn up two and a quarter inches on the lower edge of the skirt and the first thing that you need to do is you need to finish that lower edge. So I was able to overlock mine um, and you want to do that when it's still, everything's still nice and flat, I overlock that edge. So if you don't have an overlock, then you can zigzag the edge or some home sewing machines have an overcast, um, but you do need to finish that edge. And if you have a, like a machine that just doesn't have any zigzag, overcasting, any of those stitches. You could also just fold under a quarter of an inch and stitch it, eliminating the raw edge, and then sew the hem. So you fold up two and a quarter inches. Now mine obviously is not two and a quarter inches because I tried my skirt on and I liked the length. So I chose to just only fold up three quarters of an inch. Um, and then you measure all the way around the inside of the skirt and pin it at the, the hem length that you choose. So that may be two and a quarter inches for you. And then you're going to machine baste it along the edge, which is going to hold it in place while you hand stitch it. So I have this pinned in place and I've basted, machine basted along this edge. I know it's black stitching on this fabric, it's hard to see. And then you are going to blind stitch the edge. So, the way you do that, it's called a blind stitch, is because it's a hidden stitch. So I have my needle and thread here, and you are going to just fold down the quarter of an inch edge that's finished, and work your way around the hem, taking a small stitch, quarter of an inch stitch, inside, so it's like right, my stitch is right along the edge of my overlocking, then I come up directly above it and I'm going to take a smaller stitch. It's just a small stitch. Then I go back down and take a stitch in the hem and I continue that working my way around the skirt. And again, if you're right handed, then you work from right to left. And if you're left handed, you're going to work left to right. So I continue that. And then you can see, oops, I caught a pin here, that I pull the thread tight and it's, a, it's called a blind stitch because I see my finished edge here and on the outside of the skirt, you just see very small stitches. And then after you've com so completed your hand sewing, you will take your seam ripper and remove the basting. So you can just catch the edge of your basting, break it, and then pull it out and remove it. And that will complete the skirt after you finish the hem.